What's up, everyone? It's Charles here with Rocket Punch RC. All right, so as b has been the case with the past videos, I usually do an unboxing. I show you the product. I tell a little bit about it, and then hopefully, eventually, do an updated video showing the performance of the product. So I'm kind of gonna do uh, both in one, since um, I will be able to show you what it's like in the actual vehicle. Uh, just now, uh, not out in the field, but at least you can see the speed of what we're going to look at and everything. But what we're looking at today is the Power HD LF 20 MG. Now, as is the case with uh, all the stuff I've been buying recently, I am married, I have a kid, um, and I don't make tons of money, so uh, try to keep everything on a budget. But I don't want crap either. All right. So what I've been doing is just trying to find stuff that's uh, you know easily within budget. And high quality and I think I found a, a nice servo uh, that I want to show you guys and there's not tons of information out there there's not even really that many videos on this servo so I figured I'd uh, you know try and jump in and do something in case you guys are interested but anyway here's a power HD LF20 MG um, and it's replacing uh, the servo on my SCX10 which was this this is another popular servo uh, low budget popular servo uh, it's the HS645MG, so it's a Metal Gear servo. I believe it's only about 150 ounces of torque, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not incredibly strong, uh, and I'm running it with a standard voltage. Uh, so whatever my um, Tekken uh, FXR is putting out is what this is uh, getting. But here is the servo that I got, right, the LF20MG again which has at 6.6 .6 volts a um, let's see torque of 270 I believe let me just check on that 20 kilograms as it says here which uh, translates to 277.7 ounces or ounce inches at 6.6 .6 volts alright so that's actually very decent um, and works very well on my SCX10 and the reason I say it works very well is because I already have one installed but I bought this one as a backup and uh, at 4.8 volts which is 16 and a half uh, kilogram centimeters um, it's 229.1 so even at its lowest setting it's still got a good amount of torque um, the first time just in case you guys run through this the first time uh, the first one that I received which is in my SCX10 the second I plugged it in it, the horn cranked all the way to one side and was just bouncing like a rev limiter, like bop, 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 bop. Um, and I, I couldn't get it to stop. Um, and I was about to return it, and I decided, you know what, screw this returning crap. I'm going to take it apart. And I took it apart about maybe three, four times before it occurred to me in the middle of the night that I should check for a short. Because I was only checking the top here, uh, seeing if the pot was uh, centered or whatever. Uh, I decided to take the bottom com uh, completely off and check the uh, little chipboard. It turns out that there's three wires. I believe it was a white, uh, then there's a red and a black. And I think the red and the black, or two wires were touching. They put hot glue to keep them separated because they're exposed um, pins, actually, and there's wires to them. And the pins are pretty long, and they were bent and touching each other. So sure enough, I uh, stuck my nails together uh, against the pins and pulled them apart from the glue which kept them separated and boom started working which was awesome so um, very happy with the performance so far but uh, here is one out of the box fresh so you can see it it's got a aluminum casing it's got some nice tampo printing here which uh, just makes it look very high-end as a matter of fact it feels very high-end so we get, we're talking about a twenty dollar servo a shipped pretty much and this I think I paid thirty dollars plus shipping uh, it's an all plastic case so this is what I have to compare it with. So we got oh, a lot more torque on this one for a lot less price. Um, but you know, high tech has their brand and their reputation. Uh, Power HD, uh, I guess it's it's up and coming. I'm not exactly sure what the reputation is, as I've only really heard of them recently. But it does say here, famous professional servo R&D manufacturer. So I don't know if they're like an OEM for some servo companies, but I do have to say that it, it feels very high quality. It's made in China, but it, it's very high quality. Even when I took it apart, the precision in the casing against the, um, the top and bottom pieces, the O-ring, everything fits so good. And the, um, 
the gears looked really nice. They are, I believe, copper and aluminum gears, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, copper and aluminum. Um, but everything just looked really legit. Uh, so I'm happy so far. All right. So there's also a 13 uh, MG, the LF 13 MG, which is a 13 kilogram. And I'll take it out here just so you guys can check it out. Uh, there's also this version, which is a lower torque version, but a little bit higher speed. Speaking of speeds, before we even look at that, the speed of the 20 kilogram is, uh, we got here, speed of 0 0.18 seconds at 4.8 volts with a 0 0.16 seconds at 6.6, .6, which is pretty decent uh, for a high torque. Um, we have this here with a 13 kilogram, which has a speed of... 0.15 at 4.8 and 0 0.12 at 6.6 .6 volts. So not too bad either. And, and again, remember these are very budget uh, servos. Uh, and for the price, I mean, you can't beat it. It's got an aluminum casing to help with uh, overheating, which by the way, from what I've used so far in the, on the SEX-10, doesn't even get warm. But then again, it is winter time here. And nowhere on these does it really, uh, you know, boast about its torquiness. Uh, which was funny because this one's ultra torque, this high tech I have, and it's a lot less than either of these. And speaking of torque, uh, the torque on the 13 MG, we're looking at uh, 10.5 kilogram centimeters at 4.8, and 6.6 .6 we have 13.0, which translates to 145.8 ounce inches at uh, 4.8 volts and 180.5 ounce inches at 6.6. Uh, uh, and I was looking up the specs online. I, I, I actually found this in one of the searches. Um, but the, um, what do you call it? The price on this one came up to 19999 I just felt like I needed to show you that. Uh, I'm sure that's an error. But you can pick this up for pretty much $20 shipped. Uh, if you really look around, check out eBay. But here's a picture, actually, of the gears. I'd like to show you the gears here. Uh, I'm sorry I, have to, sorry I have to show you this from a eBay listing, but the gears are pretty much exactly how they look there. Very nice quality. But anyway, so as far as parts, you do get a bunch of servo horns depending on your application. You have some uh, self-tapping screws here. You also have some machine screws which are actually used for a uh, little bit here, the little metal part. You don't want to use the, obviously, the um, self-tapping screws because you'll screw it up. Uh, and it's got some little rubber uh, mounts here, uh, but uh, typically for my uh, application, I won't be using these, all right? Uh, so we are going to see what it looks like in the SEX-10. All right, so we're going to take a look at the servo here. As you can see, it looks really nice. I like the red anodizing. I mean, they really went for looks on this one. Um, you know, uh, that might throw off the scalability of your car in case it is exposed, but I, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I love that big number 20 there. I'm just a big fan of looks overall, but obviously you want the performance to be there. All right, so um, I will be replacing the servo horn with, uh, as you can see there, it's a plastic one, which is definitely not the greatest idea ever. But um, I will be replacing that with an aluminum horn. But let's take a look at the speed here. If we move back just a tad, uh, it's actually not too bad. It's a lot quicker than me, my old uh, high-tech, but here's to one side, go back to center, and here's back and forth. And I'm using a uh, 5,000 milliamp uh, 2S LiPo, all right? So uh, the very next thing I'm gonna do when I get this is um, I have a BEC, BEC on the way with a Castle Link, a uh, Castle BEC. So I'm gonna see if I make some adjustments with that, see what kind of, uh, you know, speed I can get out of that, but uh, this is pretty much an idea, you know, right out of the box, uh, what it's like. No glitching whatsoever. Uh, resolution is pretty good. Uh, I'm trying to go as slow as possible here. You can see how it reacts to that. And, uh, you know, back and forth just fast. All right, so it's actually not too bad. Uh, for me, it's a big difference because of the uh, high tech I had. Now, as far as, uh, uh, you know, pushing on the servo, you know, if you're torquing it, you know, you know while you're riding. Uh, the high tech I would grab and it would, you could hear it buzzing when I try to turn it. This, I can't even really, 
torque it to turn. You know what I mean? The horn here is actually pretty stiff. It's a really strong servo. I mean, I, I'm pretty much flexing as much as I can, I'm, and it's not even buzzing. Like, it just will not budge. All right, so I'm pretty confident that this uh, will handle itself very well um, out in the field. As a matter of fact, the movement you do see on a servo horn is just a flex of the plastic. There's absolutely no buzzing coming from that servo at all, at least none that I can hear or feel. Now, obviously, the real test of this is to put it out there on the field, which I will do as soon as I can, uh, and you know, get back to you guys with a small video of it trailing uh, me and my friend who recently picked up these SEX tents. So stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, 20 bucks gets you this servo, which up to now I'm very happy with. But like I said, the real test is out on the field. Make sure this holds up and it's not going to strip screws or gears. Like I said, the real test is out on the field. So uh, hopefully I'll get to update that really soon. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Until next time, bye-bye.